Mercury Redstone 4 was launched on July 21st, 1961 at 12.20pm UTC from Launch Complex 5 at Cape Canaveral. The Mercury spacecraft for this mission was named Liberty Bell 7 and carried Gus Grissom on a suborbital flight essentially identical to that of Alan Shepard on Mercury Redstone 3. In honor of the bell the capsule was named after, the Liberty Bell's distinctive crack was painted on the Liberty Bell 7 capsule and this is not depicted in the video. Shepard's flight demonstrated that the system to control the spacecraft in flight worked, but not in the same way the training had prepared them for. Grissom was a mechanical engineer and was able to assess how the real thing compared to the ground trainer and discovered the controls were slower to respond. This was especially apparent because he had been captivated by the sight out the window and had started the maneuvers late. This mission came close to having a tragic end because the capsule sank after splashdown due to the hatch's emergency explosive bolts accidentally releasing the hatch. Grissom was rescued before he drowned, but the incident led to the explosive bolts being removed from the Apollo capsule design. This would contribute to Grissom's own death alongside Ed White and Roger Chafee in the Apollo 1 fire five and a half years later as the inability to release the hatch quickly hindered the escape of the Apollo 1 astronauts.